I picture emptiness like no people living or farming there at all. I even picture no animals living there. I picture a sad and lonely place where even other people that don't live there are suffering because of no water to drink or shower. Photography can make a difference in my community by being able to record occurrences without words. One of my favorite moments were actually going towards or being in the farmers or meeting them. And I thought it was one of my favorite moments because it kind of, I kind of saw what they've been doing over generations and generations. And then they kept it in the family. Living in Stockton, I am constantly surrounded by the Delta. Yet today, I was exposed to a different side of the Delta's environment. I really liked being in the Northern Delta as it is very similar to what the Delta used to look like before any settlement. This reminded me of what the Delta was and could be again if we take action. With a photo, people can see the significance of the Delta's water. The water is needed for multiple purposes, to serve a lot of people, not just the interest of a few. When I first got on the boat, I was amazed at how beautiful everything was. The landscape, the scenery was all really beautiful. The perspective from the boat was also something I haven't seen before. Riding along the delta and being in the water is like being in another planet, but just 30 minutes from the world I know. I've never seen the delta on this grand of a scale, and to think 70% of its water could be taken away just astonishes me. I hope that someday I could take the same boat trip down the Delta, and it will be just as beautiful. Plus, have even more clean water, healthy plants, birds, and marine life. I was trying to make a picture of this beautiful landscape and there were electrical wires cutting the frame in half. I made attempts to avoid them, but then I realized they were actually part of the landscape. This thought sort of bothered me at first, then I realized that humans have a long history in this region so the picture including the wires as part of the environment tells that story. And then when you get out there, you can really see a lot more. You can see the birds, even though it was hard to capture them. We can still see them. We see the tuli, and we also see some garbage in there. And like we couldn't quite see that from shore because it's covered. But this way, we can see everything, and it kind of gives you a new perspective.
If I take photos, like especially since I really want to be a science teacher, it will help. I can put these photos into the curriculum. I can use my own photos and show people how this and that works. I've learned that the Delta has lost a shocking amount of wildlife that naturally would inhabit its rivers and airways. Also, I have learned how plentiful the water was in the Delta before us humans messed with it. The most memorable moment in this journey was the presentation by Dr. Sylvia Earle. She made me realize why I wanted to help the environment and why I was motivated to do so. The way pictures can change my friends and community is by showing the world as it really is. How we have abused our environment in dangerous ways. People are really interesting to capture. One thing that I'm going to take home from this journey is how to use photography to send a simple message to people and especially use that in telling people how much the Delta really means.